A panorama of forested mountains surround a fjord to otters swim and dive. About a hundred years ago, the naturalist John Muir wrote, when we try to pick out anything by itself, we find it hitched to everything else in the universe. A mother bird feeds red berries to her young. A black bear grazes on grass. It's hard to find better evidence of that than in the temperate rainforest here in Kenai Fjords National Park. A water droplet falls from the tip of a spruce branch. This magical place, sandwiched between the sea and the icy peaks, is the northern tip of the largest temperate rainforest on Earth, stretching thousands of miles from Northern California to Alaska. Water droplets form on a cluster of green buds. The relationship between the ocean and the high coastal mountains is what makes the temperate rainforest possible. Clouds hang amid tall green trees and over coastal valleys. Water-locked clouds that blow in off the ocean get trapped by the mountains and drop as much as 150 inches of rain a year on Kenai Fjords. Dark green moss covers a branch, a water droplet falls. People hike along a forest trail. All this water helps create perfect conditions for a lush rainforest that stands in stark contrast to its surroundings. The hikers at the edge of a glacier. The temperate rainforest is a layer cake of sorts. The top layer is the forest canopy, mostly made of mountain hemlock and Sitka spruce, reaching 200 feet high. Next is the understory, populated by small trees and shrubs like blueberry, devil's club, and ferns. The bottom layer is the forest floor, constantly enriched by litterfall from the trees above. Here, Moss, lichen, and other tiny plants grow in the damp shade. A bald eagle perches on a tree limb. From top to bottom, this place is a busy community, with each member supporting or depending on another. A bee hovers at a pink blossom. The rain feeds the rivers and the trees, which provide seeds for the red squirrel to eat and spread. A squirrel balances on a branch. Decaying trees, called nurse logs, provide a soggy place for seedlings to take root. A log is blanketed in dark green. The moss that grows on the Sitka spruce becomes nest material for the marbled murrelet, a seabird that feeds in the ocean, but only nests in old growth forests. Raven, river otter, and black bear take salmon from the streams, then drop the carcasses and scat on the forest floor. Bacteria and insects are the recyclers, turning waste back into soil, which feeds the trees, allowing them to grow tall and strong. How do the moose reach that high up? Beyond its boundaries, the rainforest reaches into all of our lives, storing carbon and creating oxygen for our atmosphere. Our job, in return, is simply to appreciate and protect the rainforest. The lush forest canopy the National Park Service Arrowhead logo, featuring a tall tree, a mountain peak, and a bison.